hello with another video and this time I'm going to be testing the data that the last video I uploaded you could see it was a total fail so I made a few modifications I've tapered the um, exhaust nozzle a little bit there you can see properly the tin can and I have tested it with, with this tapering it works but it doesn't work because it doesn't create thrust which I can solve because the line of completion going to the compression chamber which I discovered from the other, the other tests. So I'm just going to, and I actually got it to work. It'll be a bit hard to explain, but remember I was complaining about the Dremel 4000 saying that it's hard to adapt the turning force, you know, into the engine onto that axle. You can see the turbine there. It looks like it's aluminium this turbine, but for some reason it can. Whatever you would use in a jet engine, a stronger steel turbine. Anyway, so I can go all the way up to the highest speed of this tool, which is. Before I start, I'm just gonna quickly go through. So when it first, its low speed is, I think it's 5,000 because in the manual it's at two, three zero back then. So that's 5,000 RPM, and then its highest is 35,000. So I can get at least I can rev this jet engine up to 35 revolutions. But it doesn't cut off because there's not enough compression coming from the impeller. Okay, enough explaining. I'll just move. It. I first have to sort out the gas and then. Yeah, just now I'll sort out the gas and then I'll start the test. Okay, to solve this problem, well, I've hooked up the gas. Just, um, this is something I was going to explain. To solve this problem, which I explained in the last video, but not clearly, the Dremel and the jet engine both want to spin the same way. You can see the Dremel, if we try and get the perfect chart, the arrow is pointing that way. So when it faces towards you, that's anti-clockwise. And the jet engine on the other side, since this is the exhaust, it also spins the same way. If you can see the way the blades are angled on the turbine, you would have a slight idea of how to want to spin. It want to go this way. These are the gases will be pushing the turbine as they're drawing out. So they're pushing the turbine this way. So that's also anti-clockwise. And one thing I had, I was having trouble with the bearings. You can see, I managed to fix them with the help from my cousin. There's some videos that I have where he's there helping me test the engine, but uh, they, they're not. The lighting's not that good, so I might not upload them. Anyway, so. Let me get started. So to solve the problem, I spin the, this, you can see this rubber piece. It, it goes on the edge, the lip of the impeller on the other side. I cut free an opening. All this explaining, people want to see the test. You can see the way I cut it open, but this is bad. This is where I do the, most of the completion comes out of the front here, instead of going into the engine. So this works, you can see I'm touching the turbine. I can just take the trim and spin the lip, the edge of the impeller, to get that effect. It will be much more efficient to break some of the nut to correct direct to the, what you call it, corrects directly to the axle and spins that, but for now I just test it like this. And in this video that's what I'll be doing. So it won't be generating thrust because there's not enough completion. And I think this is only one turbine, I think one turbine is not enough. Maybe it's enough, but the completion is not creating the right combustor. Anyway, so I got my lighter. Yeah, just gonna switch the gas on. We need this first. I'll be starting from lowest RPM, 5000, and working my way up all the way to 35,000. Okay, once the glass in place. You see my cousin was here, he helped adjust the fuel so it was better to have somebody help me. So let me start. Went out. My gas is too low. I don't know if it's too high because that will happen.
that was 35,000 at the end. Let me just go to 30, 3,000, no, 30,000. Well, there's a price for madness and it seems like I just find the case of my phone. Even though it's still recording. And you can see it's misshapen. That was crazy and um, it was much safer when I was testing with my cousin. By yourself you just can't. He was doing a good job on the gas. Me I was useless. I just put it too much. The flames leaked my phone and I can see the turbine is, looks damaged. You should look at the video first, it's called whitish. I just ruined my own engine. <laughs> but. Still turning. So that the ball bedding in this section is not seized. Must have forced them on the video, even though my, my phone case is cracking up. And thank God my, my touchscreen is not cracking. I've seen glass shatter from this kind of heat. Anyway, I'm not gonna do this kind of stuff. Stay safe and I'll see your comments. Thanks for watching this mad science. Thanks for watching.